MCC has three different types of events. The typical numbered cannon events where everything competitive takes place, half cannon events where they are slightly less competitive but only wins are counted, and non cannon events, a free all, nothing matters type of event. Now, there are so many players in the past that have been in non cannon events first and then debuted later on in the cannon event series. And some are really dominant in MCC. Welcome to the Evolution, and today we'll be taking a look at the debuts of non canon players in the main canon event series and see how they are getting on now in MCC. But first, MCC Rising. With the hype that was MCC 10's rebirth teams back then, as well as some smaller content creators wanting to be in the tournament, the Dutch crew decided to host a non canon event that is MCC Rising, with 40 fresh new faces around the Minecraft community, from small to large content creators. And it was a good one for sure, with the domination that is signed Coyotes to Blushy's iconic to get to your side moment. Now what stems from this is of course, some canon debuts in MC Championship. First, we have two of the gals, Blushy and Jojo Solos. Now the reason I'm grouping them together here is because A, they are in the same team of Pink Parrots in Rising, and B, they were in All Stars as a representative from MCC Rising. They did okay in All Stars, but eventually they debuted in the canon event series. Jojo in 21 and Blushy in 22. Now, Jojo Solos would eventually become more dominant in the next couple of events and become the top player herself. From MCC 25 leading the team of Green Geckos to victory to MCC 31 leading the all Spanish speaking team to victory. Her skills aren't matched, especially in sense of time, where she had a winning streak in the game itself to some good old place in other games in there. Blushy on the other hand stayed low quite a bit in her place and such, but she really is good at to get to the side still, as well as writing the most true sign in Sky Blocko. Okay, sharpness, there you go. Sharpness uh, one. Can I give you that? Will that will that do anything? Anything? Hold on, I'll give my bow fill. She is currently busy in real life stuff, so hey, she is currently on a little bit of a break at the moment. Then we have your Fred Streamer, MCTV, from the good old Green Geckos in Rising and Sign Coyotes in Pride 22. Now, they are really one of the players that people want in Canon MCCs, especially with bonds and connections with other streamers in the same space, like Ronbu, for example. They had a canon debut in MCC 23 and have a wild roller coaster ride in MCC in general. From liking Sense of Time again after their disastrous times in their past events, to Taylor Swift blessing them in Ace Race. They really had some top moments in their time in MCC. Eventually, they went together with MC's initial canon debut duo of them and Ronbu in MCC32. Next is the infamous Velvetus Kick from the Aqua Axolotls in Pride 22. Now as you've seen in team productions, Velvet does not do much content on his own channels. But he's known for being a part of Pummel Party Saturday's group, as well as some events in there. He initially known at first for Will, messaging Dream in Dodgeballs leading him to fall off the arena, to some, well, uh, I don't know really what's going on yeah. He debuted in M625 and is one of the players to watch out for, because he can become the top of everyone at any time. Dennis Beckermon from the good old Orange Austers in Rising. Now, 
With her dominant content being MCC focused, as well as some SMPs in there, she really has a hilarious time and a smooth sailing time in MCC itself. She debuted in MCC 28 and has some good old domination in there. From Battle Box to more. Jemmy's gonna kill me, I'm gonna leave. Three dead. Jemmy's on his Let own. Let me ace this, hold on. Ace there we go. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! But of course, we will not talk about her sense of time time. Yeah, that game, yeah. But with more domination and motivating teammates, she can be reaching for that dodgeball spot anytime soon. Speaking of motivating, Michaela Dark Eyebrows from Rising's Aqua Axolotus. She really is a fun loving streamer indeed, from some hilarious collabs to some moments in there in her career. She debuted in MCC31 as a sub for MC, and she went all in in her first event from this. I'm gonna blow a balloon in sadness. Oh, snake? Can I get a snake? <laughs> To this. She parkour, she parkour my warrior till I chain my walls. Stop making us laugh, it's a fucking old gameplay. <laughs> I'll stop being funny, I'm so stop being sorry. Stop so funny, Mikaela, my god. Fun. And she stayed in the event ever since, even though she had a rough MCC in 32. But she can pick it back up, to say the least, yeah. Then we have the person besides MC most of the time in MCC, Gucky, from the good old Pride 23. Now, she really is into MCC, with some analysis in the past for her, and in her event debut in Pride, she helped clutch the team in the good old game of Meltdown, leading the team to a round win. I'm gonna shoot as soon as I get a chance. Out of space. I got him! Nice! nice. I got Anyone else? Is that it? Where, is that the, it? where else are they? Yeah. Oh yes! my god! Yes! 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 Beautiful! Yes! 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 I'm telling you, that you is gonna be that. top 10 yeah. plays for that clutch. <laughs> like, <laughs> And she debuted an event later as well, so hey, there would be more from her in the future, as she is really dedicated in the event. And finally, we have Owen's Juice, the creator and rapper of Rising's Owen's Oslets, and of course, the same name in Pride 23. Now, he really had a rich experience in MCC, from working alongside the Nox crew in creating videos for MCC and the Nox crew itself, again, he did not test, to some domination in there, in MCC, like his time in Ace Race, for example. Oh, I remember seeing that. Hey, there you go. Thanks, chat, for Second. having me. God, I own money now. <laughs> he recently debuted in MCC 32 after his time in Part 23, and he's sure is becoming one of the top players in the event, from Parkour Warrior finishes to many more. It's looking like he could be in Dodgeball any time soon as well. So there we have it. All the non-canon and canon debuts in MCC, as of MCC 32, by the time this video is recorded. And really though, there are a ton of more players from those non-canon events to be in canon events anytime soon. Honorable mentions though. Ethan Crank Gameplays. He was supposed to be in MCC 23, but his computer said no, so he's currently only in non-canon at the moment. As well as of course, half canon to canon debuts out there, but again, this video is about non-canon, yeah? Okay? But with that, with MCC Rising 2 happening at the time of releasing this video, and plenty of more players in non-canon events, there are endless possibilities of who will be in a canon event in the future. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Evolution. This is somewhat of a special warm-up treat for MCC Rising 2, so hey, hope you enjoy them. Again, there could be more canon of debuts from the non-canon ones in the future, so hey, watch out for that in the later good old MCCs and to keep the event fresh a little bit. But hey, next week we are back to normal schedule with MCC 17, so yeah. Be sure to stick around next week for that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and of course, keep on watching Dude Chapel. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.